Uh, next up, 63rd place by Infinity, Mushroom Lange. <laughs> L-A-N-G-E. It's Lange time. Ah, Lange, my favorite. Can you look up what it lands is? Just just okay. Google search. I don't know. Uh, is it anything? If it's lange. anything gross, don't tell me. <laughs> lange Wiktionary. Oh wait, it's called Mushroom Langs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fine, Lang. Uh, dictionary.com appears to suggest it is a, a it is slang for long. That's what a lang is. Okay. I do believe that this user does not speak English as their first language, so I'm going to assume it's either maybe it's supposed to be lands. I like this port, it's a little, it feels a little, uh, thin, this music port, mm -hmm. but, oh, okay, I just, that, that, okay. <laughs> Good music. Now you have a weapon. I gotta go throw a dude off a roof. What? I was making a diehard. You're like, oh, no, no, I no. gotta. It's it's ho ho ho. Now I have a machine gun. No, I know, but I'm... Uh... I I get your reference now, but I'm very sleepy, so I missed it the first time. I haven't seen it in a while, but Christmas is coming up, so maybe that'll change. You know, basically every movie Brew Souls is in takes place around Christmas, right? Really? There's always at least a Christmas tree. <laughs> Both the Red movies do, by the way. Hmm. Speaking of, there's there's a scene early on in Red 2 that because it was on TV recently. Um where it's basically like, a, it's one scene, but it's an entire Die Hard movie. Where Bruce really? Willis like, is just like climbing around bookshelves and, and taking out guards one by one. Hmm. Like, he, he, he gets a machine gun from like the very first dude he takes out, and I literally just out loud said, ho ho ho, now I have a machine gun. <laughs> There's a scene where he, he gets a guy to step on Pringles product placement, by the way, so he oh, knows nice. where they are, and then he kicks a box from the other side of the shelf to knock him out. You missed the dragon coins. I missed the dragon. Maybe there was a maybe there was a bonus pipe that I didn't go down. I I think I tried two of the three pipes. Maybe it was the third. Hmm. I'm gonna assume that what I said was probably this level's pretty basic. Uh, it's nice. It's got a nice, really early game feel to it. Um, I, I'm always a fan of the the radishes and mushroom aesthetic. That shit is my I jam. I kind of I I like the the sky mushroom stuff too. I think it looks pretty enough. Um, it's a bit basic. It could probably stand to have a little bit more. There's like some some like hints of ideas using line guides a little bit line guides note blocks stuff like that mm -hmm. but it doesn't really develop and so i can see why it would be down in like the 60s but it's it's inoffensive it's nice it just kind of the pro its problem is it doesn't really stand out but mm -hmm. it, it's it's a nice time regardless mushroom langs <laughs> we'll figure out what it means one day one day one day next up uh, tied for 72nd, uh, Hayashi Nehru with The Red Ghost House. 
The red ghost house. The red ghost house. What if it's blue? What do we do? <laughs> I'm gonna hit control I and just invert. <laughs> It looks like Bowser's at it again. Bowser's always at it. That guy gets around. It is a red ghost house. Well, it's not a ghost house yet, though. We're, we're in the green ghost lawn. <laughs> the wood ghost bridge. Ooh. Now you literally a ghost bridge. <laughs> Spooky. No Yoshis! It's not red. Look, I want my money back. Oh! Oh, it's red now. I feel like... Oh, they painted like, the walls red. That's all they did. I feel like they should have kept the, the previous music. You yeah. Know? I mean, Yoshi's Island Castle is a great track, but... It's very fitting for a ghost house, to be honest. It is. Which is why half the castles, or some of the castles were ghost castles. But... Oh, we in layer 3. Or layer 2 smashing. That's a good idea. Is it weird that I'm, like, expecting to see a, an extended tile set here because I've been playing the LDC levels? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you did it. I did. <laughs> I also despawned that man. Don't come back now, you left. Don't worry, I've got a <laughs> an answer. You killed that man. Don't worry, I've got a cape now too. Why do I need this? Like oh. I understand what's going on here is basically you stand on it and it does a um it does the layer two rise? Is it rise or is it fall? Yeah. I forget. There's a there's a vertical layer two option. Wow. Okay. <laughs> nice high jump there. I don't even have the boots for it. Up Yoshi coin right fast way. Okay, I think I remember this level. It's nothing, nothing bad or whatever. But Shell, oh wait, jump. hang on. Oh, I slapped it instead, <laughs> and I've lost everything. <laughs> Local man loses everything. And fallen down the stairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mario seems so confident in jumping into those spikes. Oh man, now I gotta play the game for real. Oof. Ah. I am spooked. A big ghost. Big Boo is objectively the scariest sprite in Super Mario World. I could have jumped. I tried to jump. Prove me wrong. But what if you gave him three eyes? Okay, now you're just speaking crazy. What if it's like, not even like, a-, a... I don't know how to shell jump. Like, not even, like, custom, it's literally just Big Boo, but with one of the eyes copy-pasted to his forehead. Wow. I don't know how to shell jump, and I even read Hobbs' thread. Does Hobbs have a thread on how to shell jump? <laughs> yeah, it was in general back during C3, I think. Oh, okay. Spooky. Impatient Mario. Nothing says ghost house like turtles. One of the turtles was red. Plain turtle. They should be all red turtles. Yeah, but the yellow ones walk slightly faster. Whoa! Hey! It's the layer 3 smasher. We're done with layer 2. This shit's boring. Layer 3 now. <laughs> oh. Well, that's one way to counteract the Layer 3 Smasher, is to... Like, the way to, to avoid Layer 3 Smasher in the original game is to just stay as close to the right side of the screen as you can. Oh, spooky. 
and so that if happens. you put more stuff then... Oh, skull and crossbones. Ooh. Skull and crossbox. Oh, hello. I mean, to be fair, you can only really do this on uh -oh. the layers, on the levels it's on in vanilla, because you know when it's gonna slam. I didn't, I didn't know where to go. Uh, let's see. I need to defeat 60 more enemies. It's easy enough, just, yeah, just for a beginner. I am. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> I guess that I have to- That was a little bit spicy. Oh, what? Look how- What? <laughs> <laughs> Mario stubbed his toe on a pebble and died. Thank you, J.K. Simmons over there. Fucking fight me. <laughs> Fly up here and fight me, you coward. Ah! <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> just right here. Quick, get down. Seventy second. I wonder. I wonder how what I scored stuff. I guess the downside. Oh shit! You got crushed. I guess the downside of. Not reading the scores is not knowing the scores. I don't remember what I said, because it's been eight months. I feel like the Smasher is in a different position. Is it just me? I think I think that you it mm, I think there, it moved there, position slightly. There's a, there's a reason why and I've heard it before. But I don't remember. Yeah, it is, because there was I did not have ah. Turtle. Can I go behind this and avoid Smasher? No! Smasher is not meant to work with nets, or other way around. I guess if I'd stayed big, I could spin jump here. And get that coin. This level's feeling kinda long. I'm thinking that's probably one of the reasons I may have docked at some points. Length is an issue. HLDC not having a, a set length is kind of scary to me. There's going to be some long levels, I have a feeling. I wonder what was down that pipe. Truck? But I didn't have the... Uh, I didn't have the... The big. You did not have the large. That man Mario, was not heavy. <laughs> Mario was not the big boy. <laughs> so well, my guess is, um, I'm gonna say it probably, the reds weren't too bad, but it is red so it can be tough, a little rough on aesthetics. Also, it probably didn't score high in aesthetics because it was a little bit basic. In the yeah, aesthetics, was, I suppose. It was, it was literally just default ghost house palette. It but was the default background ghost was house, but there wasn't like anything really spicing it up. There were no cardboard boxes. There were a little bit of different types of platform, but ah, uh, so it wasn't spicy enough for you. Well, it, it, <laughs> yeah, I guess about like a five or a six probably on aesthetics. I'm gonna. Um, I did like the exterior that little bit. Yeah, that um, was neat. Aside from that, though, it's it's got a bunch of little ghost house ideas, some sort of little puzzle stuff in it, but... Yeah. It's a bit basic. It's not really super ghost house-y. It's kind of more like, go through a level like normal, but in a ghost house setting. Yeah. Which, that may not necessarily go against his score, but I'm just thinking about it right now that way. Yeah. Alright. It was a, at least what it said on the tin. Yep. 